The metallic bonds within metals consist of metal cations surrounded by a sea of electrons. And so the outer electrons are delocalized in that they are not associated with any particular atom of the metal. And so the delocalized electrons allow metals to be soft and um, able to be shaped or malleable. So I'm going to write up here that the outer electrons are delocalized. And now I'm going to write down here characteristics of metals. So because the outer electrons are delocalized, metal can be malleable or easily shaped. Now, uh, the metal cations are not held tightly in one place, so they can move relative to each other when they are stuck. So I'm going to write here, not held tightly. And then in parentheses, I'm going to write metal cations, just to make sure everyone's clear on what we're talking about here. In addition to that, um, these metal cations can be drawn into fine wires, which means they are ductile. And so the cations are able to slide past each other with negative electrons in between and do not experience the repulsive forces. The sea of electrons acts almost like lubricating oil between moving parts and a piece of machinery. Now, the metal cations and valence electrons are held tightly together. So I'm going to write MC for metal cations and VE for valence electrons are held tightly together. And because the metal cations and the valence electrons are held tightly together, metal can have high melting points because um, the metal cations and valence electrons are held tightly together, meaning they have high melting points. So that means the metal can have high melting points over a wide range. Now, um, the electric current is easily carried by the delocalized valence electrons in the sea of electrons. And so that makes metal as a whole good electrical conductors. So I'm going to write up here, electrical current or electric current easily carried. And then I'm going to write down here that because of that metal or metals are good electrical conductors. So that's a look at metallic bonds.